Stephen Banks here. I'm Director of Sales and Marketing for Aldar Hotels and Hospitality, based in Abu Dhabi. Stephen, thank you very much indeed for joining us here Not at sure. ITB. Obviously, day one of ITB, a mm -hmm. few more days to go. Tell us some of the plans that you've got in store for the next few days. Well, the next uh, few days are very important to us. I think this is one of the most important travel shows um, that we have, actually, for our market. So, obviously, we're trying to see as many uh, tour operators as we can to, uh, to get some business for our new hotel in Abu Dhabi. Excellent. Now, we're, it's Aldar uh, is, the, is the company name. Can you tell us a little bit about the properties? Obviously, the most well-known one is Yaz, but can you tell us yes. a little bit more about the so, other ones? Well, Aldar uh, Properties was formed four years ago, and the Hotels and Hospitality Division is a part of that. Um, we now have eight hotels that, that we actually opened uh, seven of them in time for the uh, 2009 Grand Prix in Abu Dhabi, so it's all fairly last minute. Um, we've got another one down in town managed by Rotana. So uh, the Yas Hotel uh, that you might see behind me is, uh, is actually operated by ourselves as well as being owned by ourselves and then the other hotels that we own are managed uh, by other operators such as Intercontinental, Residor and Rotana. Fantastic. So obviously 2009 was a very exciting year for you. Can you tell us some of your plans for 2010? Yes. Well, we opened with a bang, as you know, for the Grand Prix. I mean, it was we opened seven hotels for that, so uh, that was quite uh, quite a challenge, but it was very successful. And as you know, the Grand Prix was very successful in its new location. Um, so now the challenge is to fill the rooms that we've got um, between that. Uh, obviously, we helped a lot with the races on at the circuit, and then, of course, it's finding other business to fill the slots between the races. So that's really why we're here. <laughs> ah, okay. So um, in terms of some of the uh, expansion plans, obviously you've just opened seven, but looking ahead, say, mm -hmm. two, three, five years, can you can you elaborate a bit on, on what your plans are over yes, that period certainly. of time? There, there's a plan. We've signed 21 contracts now for hotels uh, on... Uh, in the vicinity around Yas Island or Raha Beach, uh, all within Abu Dhabi, uh, and they will be within the next uh, few years, uh, probably five to seven, I think, more accurately. But they, there's a pipeline, and that development's carrying on as we speak. So, um, you know, even in these economic times, it, we're still carrying on with that development plan. And then, of course, Yas Island will develop as time goes by. And are you sticking to, to the region, or are there plans to expand outside of there? Well, at the moment, the region, um, there's a lot on the, on the plate, as, you know, with 21 hotels coming. But uh, at the moment, it's a region, and then maybe further afield after that. So despite the, uh, the, the difficulties uh, in the world economy, are you, you're confident that over the next two or three years that the Aldar will be able to open all these properties and, and attract a new customer? Yes, yes. I mean, uh, things may have changed slightly in the respect that I think, uh, you know, the development uh, schedule has slowed down a small amount, but it's still very much ahead and all the projects are being um, operated, or all the projects we've signed are being uh, Going ahead, so that's fine. And in terms of, of marketing that to say the European market, what, what plans are in place to do that to the UK, Europe? Yes, well, I mean, Europe is our main um, main source market, so obviously, we attend all the trade shows like this one. Um, we, we have uh, obviously uh, business people um, going out to all these areas to sell uh, for us, so we've got quite a strong pipeline to those areas. Well, I wish you the best of luck in the next few days and thank you very much for talking to thank us. Thank you, Adam. Great job.